God raises up leaders and God sets them down. But through all of those things and through all of those situations, no matter what, whatever is taking place, if you are a child of God, it's being done for your good. As we continue here, a music for you to understand that God still controls everything. When I first heard this song, I said, oh, that's a nice song. But I dare you right in the midst of your storm. Look, when I'm going through some things, I know nothing but Jesus can bring me out. allowing you to do some of your friends are saying child I don't know how you can do that I just don't think I can make it through that well listen the reason we can make it through because all things we already know we got it down in our DNA all things are working for my good he's intentional he's never failing that God is not in the midst of for God is working for your good now let's uh, begin to talk about a little bit about Alabama Alabama is my home Alabama is where I was born Alabama is where I reside right now I live in uh, Beatrice, Alabama Alabama my home are you a voter in Alabama? Alabama is under the control of the GOP uh, the Republican Party President Donald Trump leads the Republican Party. He's presently the President of the United States. What is the record in Alabama? Granted, now, the GOP has not always controlled Alabama. Alabama history is rooted and controlled by the Democratic Party. The Democratic Party is the original home of the Ku Klux Klan, and all of the racism that you find in the great state of Alabama. It was born and bred in the Democratic Party. But there began a switch some years ago. This is the GOP's A-plus ranking and scorecard that includes the history of being rooted as a Democrat, but now the GOP controls the state of Alabama. And the question is, why are you 49th in overall ranking, 46 out of 50 states in 2018, 46 in health care, 50 in education, 45 in the economy? Why? 38 in infrastructure, 45 in opportunity. Why? Physical, number 23 in physical stability. Why? 
45th in crime and corrections. Why? 35th in natural environment. Governor Ivey speaks out on impeachment, and President Trump has my steadfast and full support. Why? The GOP vote in 2020. That's the reason why. The 2020 vote. Governor Ivey on Friday released a statement strongly backing President Donald Trump. And the reason for that is the GOP Republican revolt in 2020. They want to continue to maintain the deafening grip of the GOP on Alabama. Not to say that there isn't a deafening grip from the Democrats as well. The problem is you, the voters, in your choice of how you walk lockstep behind the GOP and what President Donald Trump is doing. There is no doubt James Abelhart is running for the seat as was held by Bradley Burns. It is very doubtful that the rest of white GOP voters will be, be supporting Abelhart. They're going to go for anybody other than Ava Hart. That's the way they do it in Alabama. That's just the way it is. Okay, let's talk about Doug Jones. What about Doug Jones? It is uh, understanding through many circles that since this is going to be done during the 2020 election, that's going to be a landslide defeat, defeat of Doug Jones. But Alabama, you have a voice in that. You have a voice in that, and it's called your vote. It is time for you to make a choice. Well, now you can go with the Republican Party, continue on the road that we're going, or you can change. That's up to you. That's up to you, the voters. It is possible to change. It is possible. It is absolutely possible to change. You don't have to walk lockstep. And what is going on. Alabama view. An overview of Alabama. We got 52,420 square miles. We're college educated by 34%. Our GOP is 211.1.97 billion. Our population is 4,874,747. Our capital is in Montgomery. Our medium income it's $26,498. Alabama Road at the center of the Civil Rights Movement, coupled with its ongoing traditional college football culture, leads it a more colorful and sometimes painful history than most. And so far as the Alabama football team, I like Alabama's football team. Always have. Nothing wrong with being black, white, pink, I don't care what color you are, playing good football. Let's look at the Confederacy was born in Montgomery, Alabama. Its first capital during the Civil War, about 120,000 white Alabama men served in the Confederate forces. After the war, segregation prevailed in the South, and in Alabama in particular, in 1901. State legislation limited voting rights for thousands of blacks and poor whites through all poll taxes, literacy tests, and other Restricted requirements. Oh, Amen. In the mid 20th century, the state was at the forefront of the civil rights movement and peaceful activism against racial segregation. It was in Montgomery that Rosa Parks refused to give up a seat on a public bus in 1955, leading to the city's 381 day bus boycott. If you didn't know, Alabama has a very, very colorful history. In 1965, the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. led thousands of activists in a roughly 50-mile march from Selma to Montgomery after weeks of being blocked by local police, sometimes violently. The historic march helped raise awareness to the plight of African Americans, and Congress passed the Voting Rights Act that last, the act that later last that year. Voting Act later that year. What is it about Alabama? In 1972, state redistrict and federal voting in the election election allowed hundreds of thousands of Alabama vote 
white and black to vote for the first time in 1972. 1972. Not long ago. Today, the state has about 5 million residents, with the most populous cities being Birmingham, Montgomery, Mobile, Huntsville, and Tuscaloosa, home of the University of Alabama. The U.S. Space Rocket and Rodas Rocket Center, home to Space Center Camp and Visitor Center, the NASA Marshall Center, is located in Huntsville, Alabama. But yet and still, we rank 45th in health care. We rank 50th in education. Economy, we rank 45. Infrastructure, we rank 38. Opportunity, we rank 45. Physical stability, we rank 23. Crime and correction, we rank 45th. Natural environments, we rank 35. Why? With an overall ranking of 49. Granted, there is some good things in Alabama. And there are some bad things in Alabama. In fact, in any state in the Union, there are good and bad. But there is something about Alabama that is very unique. Alabama taxes food more than it do land. Land is the gold mine in Alabama. Years ago, during slavery and the Reconstruction and all the history of the United States, cotton was king in Alabama. Now it's timber in Alabama. Nothing wrong with timber, nothing wrong with cotton. But shouldn't you have a little few other things in your basket of economic opportunity for your citizenry? How about it? Health care, 46. Education, 50. Economy, 45. Infrastructure, 38. Infrastructure. In fact, even though infrastructure is number 38 in Alabama, infrastructure is a problem all over the United States of America. Some people say we need to stop spending money overseas and start spending money at home. What do you say? You a voter? What are you telling your representative? Do you know the other day when those Republican people come rolling down those stairs to stop the investigation process of the uh, Democrats? What was right about that? They were closed doors before. What was right about that? Was anything wrong with it? You're a voter in Alabama. Are you going to send them back, those Republicans that did that? And guess what? Some of those Republicans already, already had permission to be in that room. What was that? Hmm. Was it following cues from the president? Who was it following cues? Was they following your cue as a voter? Was they following your cue as a voter. Did you tell them to do that? Will you vote for them again? Oh, interesting information. Good morning, Alabama. What's happening? Good morning, Alabama. Let's talk a little bit about James Averhart. Um, Real Talk Education Education Edition. We all understand that teaching is rewarding yet challenging the career. Today's educators are passionate about and committed to their profession, engaging students daily to make a difference in their lives. However, the demands facing our teachers and education leaders, ranging from limited resources to administrative and curriculum overloads, are things we want to hear about. Let's have a discussion. You're a voter in Alabama. Your issues are your are my concern. I'm eager to meet with educators from Alabama First Congressional District. In fact, James Avery Hart is running to be the representative of the First Congressional District. Home Center of Mobile, Alabama. What better way to gain a leader, a cleaner understanding of the needs? Are you going to be voting for James Avery Hart? I will support him. How about you? That's my choice. What about your choice? Are you going to continue to follow the steps of the GOP, President Donald Trump? You can bet you President Donald Trump don't want James Averhart. And guess what? 
is common knowledge that Alabama 